Marchwood Power Station is a combined cycle power plant. It has uh, two gas turbines, two heat recovery steam generators, and um, a single steam turbine. Outputs about 900 megawatts. Our main challenge is that we are exposed to market risk, so the reliability of the plant is exceptionally important. We have had difficulty with our CW intake in that controlling the flow rates was done via mechanical vein assembly, but we also had large gearboxes between the pump and the motors, and it just never worked properly. So there were two main challenges with the project. The first was ensuring the procurement and installation of the equipment in such a short time period. The second was the location. The cooling water intake station is a very compact site. Our, um, our main issue was where are we going to put the electrical equipment module and how are we going to crane it into position. So we were looking at Siemens for a whole turnkey solution, including planning, sourcing of all engineering materials, all trades, and the full installation and commissioning of the system. Siemens proposed a modification that removed the fan assembly, removed the gearboxes, and installed um, a new multipole motor and um, variable speed drives, which essentially changed from having constant speed pumps with a variable intake to having variable speed pumps. The electrical equipment module was actually 26 metres in length. It was over 76 tonnes. There was quite a lot of planning involved with actually getting the thing to site and then installing it. One of the biggest issues on, on any power station is the outage period where they shut down the power station for maintenance. And of course, that's a very limited period of time. And it's quite a big system. There are three pumps, three motors uh, to commission and three drive systems uh, associated with those uh, three motors and pumps. Uh, we actually had 30 days. The sea is actually tidal, so the, the head drops and raises up to 12 metres. So the level of the sea had a major detrimental effect to the loading required of the pumps. At low tide, the VSDs make the motors work very fast to generate the required flow by the station. At high tide, the speed of the motors need to be slowed down to maintain the same amount of flow. The perfect harmony design was exactly what a power station's looking at because it had multiple levels of redundancy built in. So in terms of being reliable, always being available, we knew that this solution was best suited to our application. The actual results were very, very impressive. We had much higher flow rates than we expected. Up until we'd had the modification done, we never had a reliable system and the unreliable system never had any form of reasonable control. Now we have excellent control and a reliable system that's so reliable, we forget about it, we, we don't think about it at all. My personal highlight of the whole project was the end point when we got to fire that first pump and see it control the flow as it should do. It was a weight lifted off my shoulders. And at the end of the day, we actually provided the system ahead of schedule. <laughs>